I am loving which is Fest USA today. I this is my fourth year coming and uh, my first second year uh, here with my group, the Temple of Hecate, with of whom I am a member of the priesthood. And uh, we're just so excited to have all of New York's witches here on one block celebrating, getting to know each other and supporting each other. Yes, that's super duper important. Um, so how long have you been with the Temple of Hecate? The Temple of Hecate was established in 2014 by our High Priestess Lori Bizarro uh, in order to provide a space for witches and Wiccans and pagans of New York City and around New York City to have a place where we can come and give worship to the great Titan goddess Hecate of the earth, the sea, the skies, the crossroads, and the queen of all witches. Hey, I'm so here for it. Yes. You put that so well. Gotta have that elevator speech. Yes, yes. Uh, what's your favorite part about being in the third year of this group? Um, as the third year of this group, um, well, my favorite part about being uh, a member of the priesthood is that we work hard. We've been working uh, as a group for really hard over the last six months, especially to uh, great, do a great amount of outreach, collaborate with other pagan groups, and do events, as well as maintain a steady order of public rituals during the full moon, and now we operate during public rituals during the new moon. Uh, and you can find us at hecate.nyc or on Facebook at the Temple of Hecate. What drew you to Hecate specifically? Other than like all those phenomenal things that you just mentioned. Um, what drew me to Hecate specifically? I have been in love with the moon since I was eight years old. I've been listening to the things that the trees and the moon have been whispering to me since I was a child. I walked into uh, magical realms when I was but a young teenager and was shooed away <laughs> for not knowing exactly what I wanted but knowing that I wanted to be there. And um, I started doing research on the Titan goddess of the moon, Celine, and began my devotion to her when I was still a very young girl. Into a full flown, a full fledged relationship with the goddess Hecate, since established since I was 19, so quite some time ago. Um, and in your personal practice, your personal ministry, how does your faith help you answer some of the major problems facing our whole world, like trauma and poverty and hunger? How do you use your faith to kind of support the world in those endeavors? We are manipulators of energy. We conjure energy to have a certain purpose. And so even yesterday, the members of the temple, Lori Bizarro, uh, Eric and Arlene and myself, we were all at the uh, protest against the ICE detention centers that are currently holding young children separated from their families where they are undergoing massive amounts of trauma, unsanitary conditions, and it is up to us as witches and advocates for the disenfranchised, for the people on the outskirts of the community to stand in power and say, no, we will not stand for this. We are here. We will not be silent. We will let our voices raise up and support all people who are being disenfranchised, who are being hurt, and for the people who need us. If you need us, we are here for you. We are the witches of New York City. I think you will stop there. That was so good. Thank you so much. Can I hug you? Yes, thanks. Thank you for asking. You are a community with a couple of... Uh, I am. I am the founder and my princess of the couple of... So not... So not just affiliated, but like... I am, I am the founder of High Priestess. Whether I'm the boss or another thing, I don't know. I'd like to think that it's an egalitarian situation, but yes, there's sometimes I pull right. Absolutely. Um, and so what is your favorite thing about actually no? The real question I want to ask you is what vision jump started the temple of
has never been opened otherwise. And I'm blessed. Yeah. So, because I'm blessed, and because she's been with me and helping, I wanted to give her due honor. And I thought the way to do that would be to have a temple to her, like the, the old ways and the old uh, pagan skin, that would rival like St. Patrick's, something grand. Some people do, not my choice in the way that we 